Hey everyone, Nathan here from PH Studios and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And in this video I want to take things a little bit further from the last tutorial which explained tools and weapons. And we'll just focus on two important tools that you, uh, important to me but it might not be important to you, but pistons. Uh, what pistons can do is it'll push blocks forward one block and then there are two types of pistons there are normal pistons and sticky pistons the normal pistons push blocks forward one block uh, depending on which way it's facing and then when you remove the power source or press the button or uh, just deactivate the power it'll move it back it'll just move the piston back but the block stays moved now, sticky pistons, on the other hand, when it moves back, it takes the block with it because the block that you're pushing is sticking to the sticky piston. I'll do a demonstration on this so you'll get a better understanding. Uh, but pistons can be useful for creating like, hidden entryways to door your castle or house or something. And uh, just things like that. Just a cool looking door that uh, you can make look very interesting like a uh, giant doorway to a hidden castle or a hidden a town or something like that okay so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to create the piston okay so as you're down mining you will down below you will get cobblestone so that is one of the first things that is required is the cobblestone this part right here you get that from breaking the stone that looks like this so then you pick up the cobblestone and you'll want at least four of those okay so next thing you will need is wood so you get wood you chop down trees and then you'll get this piece of wood here and just like the last tutorial I explained that you go in and you put that in your inventory and you'll get four planks so you'll actually need the planks to do the pistons okay so now the other two things you will need are iron ingots the iron bars and the redstone now when you're down mining you will come across a block that looks like this when you break that block with your pickaxe it'll drop several redstone that look like this so you pick up that redstone you pick up a lot of it it's pretty easy I think it drops like five or six per one block right, so let me just grab a few so you pick up that redstone and then remember the last tutorial I explained that you need to smelt this iron ore so once you smelt that, you'll get the iron blocks, the iron ingots. So get a lot of iron. Uh, you only really need one, but if you want to create more than one uh, piston, you'll want quite a bit of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the wood, and I'll just bring a whole bunch of wood uh, right here. All right, so now we need the cobblestone right here. All right, so let's go ahead and go in the crafting table. You need to have a crafting table for this because you will need to use all nine boxes. So to create the pistons, you want a wooden plank in each box on the top row so all three boxes need these wooden planks now the cobblestone should be on both sides not the center now the part I always forget is which goes where and it looks like I got it right okay so in the center block you need the iron bar and in the bottom center you need the redstone so then you get this piston all right. Oop. So now that you have this piston, you can use it to push blocks. 
Now, depending on which way you place it, is where it will face. So you want it to face the appropriate direction that you want it to push. Now, if you want it to push it up, you'll have to just jump in place. There's, looks like there's a creeper underneath me. All right, so let's just go ahead and push a block just for demonstration purposes. So we have this, we want to push the stone. So now, how do you activate it? Well, the quickest way you can activate this is with the redstone torch. And you get this by gathering sticks. Remember in the last video I explained sticks. So you want to get a whole bunch of sticks made. I can never find anything in this system. Okay, so sticks, sticks, sticks. There they are. So we get a whole bunch of sticks and then we have the redstone that we uh, got from mining. So we just put one of those there and one stick here. And remember you can stack these so if we want to create two we can stack them like that. Now we have two torches. So we place a torch and it will activate the piston. Now, this is not a sticky piston, so when I deactivate the power source, when I deactivate the power, it will move the piston back, but the block will stay where it is. Alright, so now let's go ahead and talk about sticky pistons. Now, when you're down mining at the bottom, close to the bottom, you will experience a monster called a slime. What this is, is it's like a green block. Everything in Minecraft is blocky, but this is just a green square that jumps around, and whenever it jumps, it drops green particles, and it's just a jumping slime-looking thing. So you kill that slime, and depending on the size of it, whenever you kill it, it will spawn little slimes and you kill those little slimes and you have a chance of getting the slime balls and those look like little green slime balls right there so they'll drop these things now this is what's used for the sticky pistons and it's a pretty cool thing you create a regular piston and then you put one slime ball on top of it now you have a sticky piston now if we put it in the same place, activate the power, and deactivate the power, it brought the block back. So that's what sticky pistons are for. And if you want to create a doorway that you can open and close, and it matches the walls and the stone, you want to use a sticky piston so it'll retract. Okay. So that's it for this video. Next video we'll actually go ahead and create those entrance ways. And I'll talk about redstone circuits and stuff like that. So I hope to see you next time.